call this popular name for it, it's called a bobo. I don't really know why. Um, so for the body shot, all right, shovel punch is where we're coming down. Just put your hands up behind your head. Right, so it's where we're coming down on the lean leg and it's not an uppercut and it's not a hook. It comes at an angle and it's designed to get the floor in there where it's weak to drop the person, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go when we're down on the lean leg here, it comes up there. So it comes up like this. So he's going to block with the elbow. So all he does is from here, bit he fights that, he just twists and blocks like that. It's a small movement. That's why I have the guard there, because from here, I've got the body shots, uppercuts, hooks, straight punches, all from a small bit of space. You know what I mean? Okay, so all you're going to do, we lean on the lead leg, we're going to do the body shot, come back, left hook, and then a straight cross to the head. So we're just going to block all three and you're practicing the body shot. So we come down there, body shot, hook, cross. Watch again. Hish, hish, hish. One time, not like this. That would be a hook, you understand, that's straight in, it comes up at an angle. That won't work either, because I haven't got any uh, pressure my, um, strength in my legs from there, we have to come down, and then it's a delayed motion like every other punch. I come down, and like I twist my body up like this, and then I punch, you know what I mean? If I go down, one, and then back. But also that's done fast, that little twist as well guys, watch. So I go, one, quick there, you see that movement in between? One, two. Right, so I get that whip effect on both shots. One more time. And you just gotta go one, two, three. So you do that to me. And I go back. Right, left foot, left foot. Let's go. Step with the jab, as I do my cross, I slide my back foot in, as I do my hook, I step again, and then I'll do the one to finish. And we'll do the drop in like it's there. So, it's more of a traditional kick, right? Or modern K1 style is coming up fast. Traditional, you drop it down for the power, sorry. So, so what, he's moving back, move back a bit, I go one, two, hook, and leg kick. He comes back with a cross, hook, cross, and I move back. Cross, hook, cross, switch your feet and kick here for the angle. Angle kick here. Oh. Again, I need to cover that too, because we're going to do a switch. Everyone do this fast, you ready? In the fighting stance, don't move your head. The key is try not to move your head. Think about whipping your hips, and you simply chase dance fast. Do as fast as you can. It's almost like the first time I've seen it. Because that's real good to see it come in. And that is what On the spot, you just go fast. And always, always remember, whenever you switch, you use the stop now, stop that will do. It gives your back foot to bounce off of the power. Okay, so watch for the whole thing again, right? He moves backwards, what, and I do one, two, left hook, right leg kick. One, two, hook, and watch. After that hook, I come up and drop it down there. He goes back, cross up, cross up, I now back, switch, and then elbow in just like you've got that body shot. With this leg kick, just quickly, just above the knee, right? Not on the hip, not on the knee, just above the knee and drop it down just above the knee there and try to get accurate because what really drops people and try inspiring is not actually going that hard it's kicking the same spot frequently that's when it starts to proper up no point kicking it as a bit then there then there you've got to kick in the same point every time right so i'll do that for a minute and a half and then after we change and when i say change he doesn't want to hook like kick and i come back cross up cross oh, let's go Spot, and then I just do a knee there to finish. 
So it goes back, one, two, hook, cross, moves towards me. Long guard, I'll step out there and hang up, keep in fighting stance. Cross, touch my feet, knee. Right, one more time. Move back faster, right? building on it every time, right? But it's not meant to be easy, right, for some of you. This is quite difficult. This isn't just hitting the pads once in a hook kick. That you do a lot of standard keep boxing gyms. I'm making it very technical, so you've really got to observe everything I'm doing. It's not meant to be easy, but you'll get there. I'm noticing, seeing all this, like I didn't say it then, so you're rolling to southpaw, some of you have loads of fakes. It's definitely paying off, chucking you at the deep end. But it's the same every Wednesday and Friday, right? There's a system to it, it's not random crap. You can see that with the system to what I'm doing. Pay attention, right? And just really try to implement it. So switch one, two again this time, right? We'll do it last Wednesday again. This is from karate, it's a karate blitz. It's awesome, works well for K1, MMA, and stuff like that. So everyone stand up, get your fight stance, left leg to the front. So, it's a switch on the spot, which you've already done, and chuck a jab at the exact same time. Do that. Leave your hand in the air. Right. Then you're going to step your left leg all the way forward with the right cross. Alright, once you know it, you just do it about thinking. So watch again. Switch on the spot, chuck your jab. Step all the way forward with your cross. Alright, so we cut the cage off. You're fighting in the cage, so it's bouncing all over. You can rush them and get them fast. Right, and we also do the two counters, so if you've got the idea of it, pay attention to the counters. So this is how it looks, it fires it's moving back quick. So move back fast, one, two. See this, how it comes in quick? There's risks to everything you do. Obviously when I switch my feet, and it, it could trip me, but you, you know, the pros and cons to everything, right? The idea is you wouldn't see it coming. So move back fast, and the blitz. You know that, he blocks with his right hand. When he chucks his jab at me, just switch to the counter, and go over the top. Remember that, so you just tell your partner to chuck your jab at your head, switch under, and go over the top. And the last one is he goes for the inside kick. I switch, he's completely missed it, and he spots there, in a really bad position, and then bam, all over the top there to finish. So to sell that, remember, we go one, put the idea in his head, switch there, bam, over the top. Right, five each, come on, get your head in gear, let's go.